What's up, Ant City, and welcome back to another episode of Nuzlocke Training. Oh, yes, and today we have Makomo that we're going to be practicing because she's the next character on the character select screen. So we're going to be practicing our combos and such with her. So let's just go ahead and jump straight into it. Okay, so in the video, what he says is that Makomo doesn't really have way too much in terms of her combos, but she can just basically get in a lot of hits. And the main thing you want to do for your combos is always end off with this move, the Water Surface Slash, because there's two reasons. So one, uh, this can actually lead into a reset, which is, which is basically like, you know, if you don't know what a reset is, it resets the meter. Like you see that little yellow wheel that comes up when I'm doing combos. Basically, it'll empty that out and you have a good chance to be at an advantage and continue a combo again and it resets that meter wheel, that little wheel there. So you can just keep doing another combo. But the other good reason is because Makomo is really good at connecting that right into her grab because it comes out so fast. So, yes, yeah, so now that's basically like the main thing. You just kind of want to pressure your opponent because he was saying you could do a lot with Makomo. Uh, it's specifically for the water slash. It's the one in the air because and look look at that it like kind of tracks a little bit like you see how she kind of goes right down to the opponent um yeah so that's like the one main thing you want to do with her so one thing he showed is you could do two hits one thing too is uh so i'm only pressing square twice here and she does this whole four hit combo so like she does the two uh the slash up and the kick off the opponent but after that kick you could just do a water surface slash and it connects immediately i personally like doing at least three hits because when you click it or i think it's actually four times I don't know how many times, but you see she does these extra kicks before jumping off the opponent. Uh, that does take up more combo time, though. Oh, actually, hold on. She doesn't do the jump back. Okay, that's part of it. So, But, I mean, you can also do just do those kicks right there into a water circuit slash. So, like, let me show you. Do these boom, 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 slash. Um, so, basically, you just kind of want to pressure because another thing you can do, you can do two water surface slashes into a water wheel into more surface slashes. And that's really good if your opponent's blocking. So, I'll show you right here. Set them to always guard. Let's say they're blocky. You can just go boom, 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 boom. And you can even combo off of it a little bit more. And you can just kind of keep the pressure. Oh, I forgot I have uh, guard break off. Let's turn that back on. So, yeah, let me show you. So, you can just go boom, boom, wheel if you wanted to. Actually, I wouldn't recommend doing the wheel there. Uh, I, would re I would recommend doing the wheel later once you're running out of meter. So, you go boom, boom. Oh, no, actually, maybe you need to do the wheel. I was wrong. So, you go boom, boom. You can, like, wheel. Do some combos here like you know just do a lot of hits you could just get in a lot of hits basically and uh again her grab comes out really fast after the water surface slash so i think it, it's even good on guards like look if they're blocking their animation lasts long enough that you could like probably grab them before they're able to move see so, yeah, that's the main thing he also so for let me show you how the reset combo goes it's actually pretty good uh, so turn off always guard right so basically what you want to do is this so you do you know your little thing here into this but then you do a water wheel because you get a free dash like that and you go up i, I dropped it. Oh, i messed it up okay so basically you want to do your hits right and again you could do this in like any order basically oh oops. you could do this in any order with makomo you just got to remember that you want to get this water wheel at some point i like to just do it right away and then you slam them down then you do a few hits into a slash i messed it up i think you're only supposed to do three hits let me try it again let me get more of my meter back. Okay, so one, two, boom, boom, slash, this, into a dash. Then you slam them down, and then you do this. And then that, they so you see how they fall down right back in front of you? And you, it, it, that's a combo reset right there because of how they fall back in front of you. Now, I think I am still doing it wrong, though, because I think I'm supposed to stay on the ground the whole time. And, like, wow, you saw that? I just did it twice. So, like, I think once I knock them here, I do one, two. Oh, no, because, okay, let me... Let me try it one more time. I think this is a better way to do it right here. So let me see. So you do that, slash, wheel. I accidentally did a reset there. Oops. So you go boom, boom, slash. I missed. Hold on. Boom, boom, slash, wheel. Then, oh, I didn't dash. <laughs> okay. Boom, boom, slash, wheel, dash. There we go. Slow them down. One, two, slash. And then that's a, yeah, that's the reset right there. So then you get to continue off your combo. Now, one more thing I wanted to show off, and, you, and as you can see, it actually does pretty decent damage. Even though apparently Makomo's kind of known for not having a lot of damage, but I guess there are ways to get some damage out of her, so that's good. And yeah, she kind of just moves around a lot. She's really like versatile and like agile. She just moves a lot. Like during her combos and everything, she, there's just a lot of movement going on. So she can be kind of unpredictable, in my opinion. Because even fighting her, I've just been like confused, like what what is she doing? 
Like, once she's moving, she just be moving. And you can, uh, one thing he didn't really use is, uh, hold on, let me get my meter back. He didn't really use this, or not that move, this move too much in combos. Uh, let me see if you can, let me see something. Can you go boom? No, that, you don't fall fast enough. I was gonna see if you could do this into this. Oh, actually, you kind of can. So I guess that's another way to end a combo. I, did I just come up with something? I, uh, I don't know. Let's see. So you go boom, boom, boom. Okay, I messed up. Hold on. <laughs> so you go boom, boom, slash, wheel, dash, boom, 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 boom. Oh, I meant to do another slash into this. I was going to try to reset into this to see if, or into, into this, to see if that would give you like a heavy knockdown so you can charge up some meter, which it looks like you actually might be able to. Let me try it. So let's go boom, boom. Slash wheel up boom boom slash this it kind of works but like it's it's not I don't think it's completely reliable but uh, it seems like it works so uh yeah I'm gonna see if there's anything else really from Alcomo in this video but like he was saying that's basically the gist of it you mostly just want to use this and you can go right into a grab which is like the main thing but I personally do like the reset route just because you can get more damage it up in my own way. But, um, yeah, so I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and keep watching the video, see if there's anything else in there that I may have missed, so, yeah. Okay, so there are two more things in the video that he showed off that I wanted to talk about here as well. So, the first thing is if you need to charge up meter with Makomo, the best way to do it is, so let's just go ahead and do a little combo. So, this is one way you can, oh, hold on, I messed up. This is one way you can do it. Basically, that combo I was talking about earlier for the reset. So you just do this, then you dash, but instead, while you're in the air, end off with a water wheel, and your opponent will be in hard knockdown, and as you can see, I charge up almost like one and a half meter before they get up. So that's a pretty decent amount, you know? Obviously, it's not like the best, and it kind of takes a lot of meter, at least for the way I just did it. But I mean, you don't even have to do it that way. You could just do an up combo into a water wheel at the end, and then it knocks them down. So yeah, that's a, that's a really good way to do it. And then the, the very last thing I want to talk about is, so he actually does show off this move in the video. Basically, the main purpose of that move is you can just use it to start combo. So you do this into a water wheel, and it connects. So then from there, you can just kind of keep doing your combos, right? So let me reset. Uh, so let's do this into a water wheel. And then from there, I, I should have dashed at him, actually. Uh, so again, let's do boom into a water wheel, into a dash. And then from there, you just kind of keep doing your thing, you know? You just kind of keep going. And then I'm going to... Yeah, see, I just did the whole... <laughs> Uh, thing there like I just did the whole battle like the spinning whatever you want to call it like ballerina spin whatever that is but um yeah so that's pretty, that's pretty much it with Makomo according to that video though uh again I did say this in the last video but I will say it one more time I'm really only trying to learn the basics of all these characters you know that's why I'm not watching like a million videos trying to get like super advanced combos and stuff because I'm sure there is probably more stuff you do with Makomo like obviously the guy making these videos isn't like the god of Demon Slayer and he knows every optimal route he just actually explains pretty well how to do some good combos with these characters so i'm just trying to learn the basics you know i'm not trying to uh i kind of want to develop my own style a little bit too i just want to get the basics down so you might get some wins with that with what i've learned uh and again a lot of this is just training for the season two of nuzlocke because if i actually have good options with my characters and kind of have a better idea of what i can do with them i think i'll perform a lot better so yeah, uh, just like in every other video, though, I'm going to practice these combos a little bit more. And then we're going to go ahead and get into some online matches. But you'll just see the online matches. So, yeah. All right. So, we're back in here with uh, some matches with Makomo. So, let's just see what we can do. See if we can put what I learned to... Oh, I, I knew... I saw that he was uh, doing the, the counter. But I just kind of went for it anyways. All right, go with this, into this. So we're going to go for the reset here. Actually, I'm going to do a heavy knockdown because I want some meter back. All right, go into my heavy. Ooh, got him. Okay. And then from the heavy, I didn't really talk about this, but you can just go into this, into the grab. Oh, that was a nice switch. That was perfectly timed. Oh, my God. I cannot be mad at him for that at all. Did I just interrupt his thing? I think I did. Well, anyways, <laughs> I'm just going to go for this, into this. Oh, I didn't dash. That's bad. Block him. Push him back. Perfect block. Oh, the perfect block didn't work. Ooh, got him with the water surface slash. Let's get him with the grab. That was nice. I gotta escape. I gotta get out of there if I want to live. Oh, nice grab. That was nice. 
That was a nice grab. <laughs> they can't even be mad. I tried to push him off. I should have just like dodged. But you see, we actually did a decent amount of damage there, and we only got the combo off like a few times. So I would say we're doing pretty good so far. Ooh, block. <laughs> Dang. I was trying to avoid his DU. Okay, watch this. Slash. I should have actually... That I didn't dash again. I keep doing that. Okay, block. All right, we're just going to go into the slash, into the grab this time. Just because, yeah, people... That is pretty effective at hitting people. So we're just going to keep doing that. Heavy. Oh, he dodged it. Nice. To Scorching Rush. Oh, okay. I'm going to try this out. Got around his gear. Oh, I actually connected that to a water surface slash. I did not know that worked. All right, heavy knockdown. Get some meter back. Back up. Summon Sabito. Oh, nice Sabito. Nice. Oh, it dropped him down though. Not nice. Oh no, I forgot the brakes guard. At least it's a red combo. That I might die still. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay, he just did crazy damage there. I, I was so close. If Sabito's, if if I got to Sabito's assist sooner, like if I ran up sooner, it would have been fine. What? Excuse me? Okay. We're good. We're good. Kind of. Why did I dash into that? We might lose here, but I'm actually still not really mad about it because I think I'm doing a lot better with uh, Makomo here. Well, I forgot you get super armor when... Yeah, I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead, but it's just because it's damage crazy. But I will still keep practicing a little bit with Makomo, but overall, though, I am actually happy with how I did. It's just um, I got to just practice more, learn more about, like... How to play her but i think in terms of like the combos i actually did pretty well and the combos were working it's just oh my gosh he was doing some damage but yeah we're gonna end the video off there so thank y'all for watching hope y'all enjoyed if you did make sure you slap that like button and that subscribe button and if you really like this video that much you might consider putting it down into your favorite play playlist and sharing it around to your grandma your grandpa your manager your co-workers whoever you want to share it to and if you are taking on the Demon Slayer Nuzlocke Challenge, which is the series I did before this one, if you yourself are doing it, make sure you use the hashtag Demon Slayer Nuzlocke tag down in the description below. But yeah, till next time though, I'll see you all later and peace. Have a good day or night, y'all.